Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I just want to say I apologize in advance if I sound like super congested or if I just sound different. I've been sick for the past week, so I feel like my voice is still kind of hoarse and like not <laughs> quite back to normal, but I am starting to feel a little bit better, so that's good. Um, anyway, I meant to film this video like last week and then didn't because I ended up getting sick and now by the time that we're seeing this two of these comebacks have already happened but today I have some comebacks to set up my binders for so um yeah NCT 127 just had a comeback with Backcheck and then uh TXT just had a comeback with is it called Name Chapter? I keep forgetting what this album is called I think it's Name Chapter um Freefall and then um, Seventeen is having a comeback later this month, um, and also Zero Base One. I don't remember their release dates off the top of my head right now, um, but yeah, I have a lot of uh, fillers <laughs> to put away in my binders, so this box is full of papers. Sorry if this video gets like super choppy or whatever i just i keep having to like stop recording and like cough or clear my throat and it's annoying but i'll try my best to edit out everything so you don't hear me being sick too much but um anyway we can just go ahead and get started i'm gonna grab my ipad and we can look through the album details first i'm going to um, this is my NCT binder, but I think I'm going to start with either Zero Base One or Seventeen. I haven't decided. Okay, I lied. I think I said I was going to start with either Zero Base One or Seventeen, but I'm actually going to start with um, NCT. I think I'm just going to go in release order. I think that just makes sense. So, so with NCT, there's five different album versions, so... Um, the chandelier version, I guess, is like the photo book version this time, and then there's the storage version, which I think looks since um, which looks similar to the vending machine version from NCT Dreams Comeback, um, ISTJ, and then the exhibit version looks the same as the poster versions that they've been doing. There's the QR version, and then also the S Mini, of course. So there's five versions in total, and then there's also a bunch of U.S. like exclusive, not not only U.S., there's also like Japan exclusive, um, there's just a lot of exclusive. I think there's like six different exclusive versions or something, there's um, the Japan exclusive, there's the D2C like NCT shop exclusive, there's um, the Amazon, Barnes & Noble, there's Walmart. Oh, Target. There's either five or six exclusives. Um, so I'm not going to set up for those. Like, I don't have fillers made for them, but I am just going to add the pages, I guess. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm kind of in a little dilemma here. I was flipping to the back of this binder to um, open up to put, like, the new pages in, and I'm kind of in a dilemma. I don't know. Should I keep everything chronologic? Or should I keep, like, solo unit things separate and then do, like, full group? I think I want to keep it separate. So I'm going to put them after Ayo. So these are, like, the Target exclusives. And I guess we'll put the new pages here. Wow, the amount of coughing I will have to edit out of this. <laughs> so I have ten pages here. That should be enough for all of the exclusive versions and everything. That's crazy. It's like 90 photo cards. So let me grab the fillers here. <clears throat> These are NCT. All right, so first up we have the chandelier version. And I'm just gonna put these in age order, of course.
Okay, so that's it for the album photo cards. So, chandelier, storage, exhibit, QR, which since Taylor doesn't have a photo card, I guess I'll try to put like, sometimes the QR versions come with like a group card. At least it did with two baddies, but I don't know. We'll have to see, cause I'm like, I want, but even if there is a group card, Taylor's probably not gonna be in it. That makes me so sad. Oh, it feels so weird to have eight spots. Aw. And like, I'm guessing that they took the photos for these photo cards like later on in the, the album making process. Like, I'm guessing that's why Tail was not involved <laughs> in this set, but that makes me sad. I wish they would have found some way to like give him a photo card. I don't know. Like, give me a photo card of his dog. <laughs> And then I didn't make fillers for the exclusives, as I said earlier, but yeah, this is where they will be going. So there's like Japan, Target, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, um, Walmart, and the like D2C NCT shop version. So those are all going to go in here. And we are all set for a new comeback. I'm trying to avoid <laughs> talking too much in this video because I feel like... It just triggers more talk or more coughing from me but yeah that's it for 127 by the way let me know how you guys enjoyed the comeback for fact check because i really liked it okay for txt so here are the album versions we have um the these are the photo book versions reality melancholy and clarity and then they did um, the Gravity version, which is similar to, I think, the... What was it called in the last era? Basically, like, they do, like, the member version, photo book type of thing. What was it called? I don't know. I'm blanking right now, but you probably know what I mean. And then also the Weavers version. This time they did two different versions, which, like, why? Why did we have to do that? And also, I'm realizing I didn't actually, like, pull up the album details for NCT, but, uh, anyway. For the photo book versions, they are now giving us 2 out of 10 photo cards. Instead of 1 out of 5. So, like, I guess it's a win because you get more photo cards in an album, but it's, like, the same amount to collect. The same amount of albums you need to purchase, so... I'm just grateful it's not 1 out of 10, because no thank you. Um, anyway, so that's the photo book version. The um, Gravity is, again, just 1 out of 5. And then the Weavers, this one makes me upset. The Weavers version, so there's two versions, A and B, and then each of them has 10 cards, and you get two cards in one Weavers album. Can we just be like new jeans where we get, you know, a whole group set of cards? Like, what is this? What is this? So there's 55 cards in total because there's 30 for the photo book, um, 20 for the Weavers, and then five for the Gravity. So 55. <laughs> 55 fillers that I had to make here. They're this big stack on the bottom. And I need to figure out how many pages I need because my setup is a little different. <laughs> okay, so for previous eras, how did we do this? So for each spread, I need two pages, and that would only hold three sets. I need four spreads, so eight pages. Did I do the math correctly? Um, let me grab some pages. Okay, I think this is eight pages. <laughs> Uh, 
and we have to start like this. So Subin reality, we have to put in backwards. This is the challenge. Yeonjun reality. Thank you, reality. So the way I'm gonna do it, I think, is just do like the two versions and then start the second version down here. So reality, reality, melancholy, and then, you know. Oh, it doesn't start there. Uh, I messed up. I only do two on this side usually. I guess it doesn't really matter. I could probably switch it up with no problem, but Subin and Yeonjun only, and then Bomgyu. Bomgyu goes here. Wait, did I skip a page? Or did I just count wrong? No, I just counted wrong. Okay. Here we go. So that is it for this kind of setup. So we have um, the photo book versions here. We have reality, reality, melancholy, and then, and then also melancholy, clarity, clarity, and then gravity, and then the Weverse A version, and the Weverse B version. There is an empty row at the bottom, so I'm thinking I might collect like an OT5 pop set or something, like from probably Weaver's Global or something, kind of like how I did. Um, did I do? Oh, for like Thursday's Child, I collected Target because there was, well, and Weaver's. There were two empty rows. So I guess I didn't have to, but I could have started. Um, Temptation here but I liked how Temptation had like the three album photo book versions so I like I wanted it all together rather than starting a new era like with an older era so yeah I might put like an OT5 
pop set or something down here. We will have to see. And yeah, that is the setup for TXT. I'll probably put in these like white fillers on my own time off camera. But that is it for TXT. <laughs> Okay, next up we will be doing 17. So, oh, album details. <laughs> I literally forgot. Let me see. Okay, for this comeback for 17, they have, oops, they have the photo book version, which has three versions, and then they did the carrot version again, um, the kit album, and then also the Weavers album. So, um, yeah, let me look through the photo book ones. They should have, I think, two photo cards each is what it was. Yeah, so the photo cards are 2 out of 26, which means there's 2 for each of the 13 numbers. Then they also have this mini card, which is the size of a photo card. So I guess So I guess you can kind of set this up as like an extra photo card. I don't know what it will look like though. I don't really know what to expect. Um the stickers are going to be too wide to put in a nine pocket page and then yeah there's just all those extra stuff here <clears throat> and then the carrot version i think also has um four photo cards again like last time oh uh, that's the booklet and then yeah photo card is four out of 52 so there are four cards per member and that's it for this version um the kit album just has one card and then the weavers album is like a mem is it still a member set card holder so it has maybe it's not a member set anymore because it has the qr code and then the two random two out of 26 selfie cards so for the last couple of comebacks it was like a guaranteed like member set for the weaver sets but i don't know if they're gonna do that again for this or not i guess we'll have to see but yeah, that's it for the album details. So, I think I need like two pages for this comeback or something. I guess I'll put it after the deluxe cards here. I don't think I need more than two cards, but I have three just in case. So, I think on the first page I'm going to do just the six album cards. I didn't... Oh, I did set up fillers for the mini cards, so I guess I will do those as well. So I think I'm going to do the mini cards in the middle and then do like the two album cards on the top and the bottom, or at least until we see what the mini cards look like. I have a feeling that they'll be more like a concept card or something, so I guess we'll find out. And then on the next page, we have the four carat version, the Weavers set, and the kit album. So I think I'm going to do well, let me do carat first. I guess I'll just set this up like an eight pattern. So I guess I really only needed two pages. I feel like setting up these comebacks every time for only one member is like a little difficult to figure out sometimes. So then I'm going to leave this one blank and then we'll do the kit album. 
and then the weavers set on the bottom so i'll do one selfie and then the qr and then the other selfie and yeah that's really it for 17 there's not that much to set up for since i only like really fully collect one member and i'm not gonna make fillers for like the other members because i don't really collect like a set amount i just kind of collect the cards that i want so yeah that's really it for this comeback it'll be interesting to see if they announce another like deluxe box or not I don't really like it to be honest i feel like it's just another cash grab from them but i mean it's nice to have all these extra cards but did we really need it no <laughs> so anyway that's um it for 17. and next zero base one the comeback isn't until november so i guess i don't really have to include them in this video but since we have album details I might as well um there are other comebacks in november so like i could wait until then to make this video but i might as well just include them right <laughs> so um here is zero base one. Oh, but i also have all of the pobs i guess i'll do it before the pobs right that makes sense I think, I honestly think I'm going to downsize these and only collect, um, Jiwon for these, but I don't know. So anyway, for the album cards, there are three photo book versions, and then there's two cards for each version per member. So there's six cards per member in total. They haven't announced a Digipack version yet, and I wouldn't be surprised if they do. <laughs> Which, if they do, I'll probably just set up to collect OT9 again or something. So, yeah. Let's, let me just grab the pages. So, I have three pages here. I only need two, but I'm going to add an extra just in case they add a digipack. Then I won't have to add it later. I absolutely need to move something out of this binder. It is so full. Ever since I upgraded Shiny to collect OT5, it's it's so full. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the members this way again. So Hanbin, Jiwon, Gubin, and then I'll do like the versions this way. So the first version is called Fairy Tale. Okay, so that is the <laughs> nice and simple setup for Zero Base One. So their first version is called Fairy Tale, and then the second one is Loyalty. So I have the first set on this page, and the second one on this page, and then the mystery version. And yeah, that's it for Zero Base One. And that is going to be the end of this video. So. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!